Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II build tutorial and today we are making the M7 Reist American SPG or self propelled gun or artillery tank however you prefer to call it but I personally love I, I like the design of it uh, I mean I could probably well I haven't seen anyone else do a M7 Priest yet so I think this is like I don't know I just like this one but I hope you all do as well just a quick look around of it, we'll fly over top of it so you can see inside because this is an open top tank as you can see here. Not that, not a whole lot of the detail into it, I mean it is the most I could put into it. Uh, but I hope you all enjoy and let's get right into the tutorial. Okay now to start off what we're going to need is sandstone slab, stone slab, stone brick stairs, stone brick slab, smooth sandstone, and a button. This is going. To, we're going to be starting on the first layer, and we're going to be starting on the right side of the tank as usual. So we're going to come in by okay three blocks. We're going to put one smooth sandstone. Come back one, two, three, four, five, six. And after doing that, we'll skip a space of three, and we'll copy that design right over here. And then we'll put some stone buttons on the outsides of the smooth sandstone to uh, simulate the uh, wheels for the tracks. Now what we will do is we will put stone brick slab there, stone brick slab there on bottom slabs, and then behind them will come up by one slab to start to uh, bring the tracks up a little bit. And for the front, we'll put another bottom slab and another bottom slab, put some placeholder blocks in, put an upside down stair, and another upside down stair on that side, and now what we will do is we will come in like this with our sandstone slabs almost in like a little bit of a U shape if you're looking at it like this so this is what you should have so far and then if we just come back to here I believe we can just do this come across like that and after really you should just have this whole area like uh, sealed with sandstone slab just like this so all of this would be opened and then we're going to fill that all up except what we're actually going to do is we're going to go from like do this and then go down not that it really matters like you probably won't be able to see it from the outside but the only reason we're bringing the floor down is you, you'll see when you see the interior you don't have I don't think you have to have it like that you can make it however you want edit the tank I mean it's go ahead and alter it like however you want because once you build it in your world remember it's your it's your tank that it's your tank from that point on but if you're ever going to like put it in a YouTube video or show it off in your world make sure to give credit where it's due make sure that you put a sign at least saying tank original tank design by the just reaper stuff like that don't just take uh the design for yourself the reason i say this is because one of uh another youtuber i know who makes tutorials just recently had some of his builds stolen from him and i figured i might as well say the same thing to you know just try and get that thing across to you guys so anyway back to the tutorial probably shouldn't have done that because now it's just going to like drag out the time a little bit more uh... actually we're going to cut this off right here we're going to raise it back up with this own, the sandstone slabs just like this so i think you should have something that looks like that and now i believe we can just move on to the second layer which would be we'll just put uh... two more slabs on top of these front slabs uh... we'll put two upright stairs like that Two more upright stairs back here. After doing that, we will grab our sandstone stairs, put an upside down sideways, and another upside down sideways, just like that. And then we're going to run three slabs across like that, and then come in another block. And then we'll come in one, and then another one, and just come up like this. Get rid of these, and then replace that. So that was all. That was really just a placeholder. Place those blocks in. Place the sandstone stairs like that. Now what we'll do is we'll just. Uh, I'm kind of like 
straying away from the layers. I see that's my mistake. All right. Uh, I'll just put the stairs like these up, upright stairs going like that, and then we're going to reverse it. Upright stairs going back like that. Actually, I screwed up there. Sorry, everyone. What we're actually going to do is we're actually going to put the stairs like this, just up to here, and then reverse them so that the stairs have to be limited only on top of the wheels. That last time was my mistake. Reverse. Perfect. After doing that, we can come back here on both sides, put a smooth sandstone uh, block in, like that. Okay, after doing that, we'll just grab a wooden trap door, put it there, and put it there as the cog wheel. And now what we're going to do is right here, we're going to put a stair facing backwards, and then curve it, go up two, and then curve it right there. Is that right? No, it is not. Again, actually we're going to put a full sand, a smooth sandstone block there. And then we're going to put it, we're going to put the uh, stair one facing forward like this, and then come in and curve it like that. And that's just going to be a little viewport for the driver, even though I wouldn't say it's necessary considering it's, well, basically a convertible tank. Non-convertible, but, you know, convertible sounds nice. So we're going to call it a convertible. Run uh, five blocks of smooth sandstone across the front like that. Uh... What we'll do now is we will grab our sandstone stairs, put two like that, just normal, no curving it in. And now we will also grab our, we're going to put the uh, sandstone stairs in like up to here actually, just up to there. Because we're going to need that block for extra decoration. Might as well work on it now because it's going to be the hard part. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this was a confusing part when I was actually making the tank. Alright, you're going to want to have two trapdoors that are outside of the block going up like this by two. And then we're going to put one here. Close them up. I believe, how did this one open and close? Okay, open like and close like that. And then what we will do is make sure that one closes like that. And now this uh, machine gun like cupola thing should be functional. I right, flip that up, flip that up, flip that up, flip that down, flip that down, up, down, and now you should be in the machine gun spot. After doing that, we'll come over here, we'll grab our stone slab. And we will put our stone slab on top of that. We will go over here. We will grab our dark oak fence gate. Put one. Come on. Going to put. Placeholder in. Get rid of that. Open that up. Like that. And then like that. Then you should have your machine gun about done. Just grab the iron trap door to kind of make a magazine. And that finishes that off. And I think, yeah, I have to do this to kind of make the inside a little, just look a little bit more appealing. And then we can seal this part off, I believe. How did I seal it off? Okay, actually. Break these slabs up here, fix that block, and just make those into whole blocks. Simple. Now we are just going to grab ourselves uh, a chest. We're going to put two chests there, two chests there to make two uh, large chests. And then uh, next step is okay, we'll just grab our dispenser, put a dispenser there. And then put that there. Okay, I can also put one here too. Now to make the gun. This will be fun. 
All right, we're going to put top slab there, and then bottom slab there. Put dispenser there. All right, then we're going to put top slab here. Come up, come out, up like that. And that will make the uh, artillery howitzer. Uh, and now what we will do is actually we have to get rid of those, now that I remember that. Put a trapdoor there, put a trapdoor in the back, and then you can have a, an accessible seat at least. You jump up here, close that up, and now you have the driver's seat. Put it back down, you're all good. And what, are we missing anything more besides that? No, we are not. All we are missing is the engine, which will be simple. We're going to break that. We'll just break this real quick. We will go and grab ourselves an anvil and a furnace. We're going to put anvil here, an anvil there, and a furnace there. Upright stair like that, upright stair like that. Slab up there, put a trap door that will close like that. And there you have it. You have your uh, American M7 Priest SBG. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a like or at least a comment. Please leave a comment as well about any tanks you would like to see in the future. I do have a couple more ideas that will be coming out, but I only have a few ideas left. So I will start taking requests. Please, I, I will really make them. Uh... Well, that's the whole point of me uh, asking for them, though, isn't it? Well, I'm going to stop rambling now. Hope you all enjoyed the tank. Have some fun with it in your worlds. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Hello? Sleeping.